Let me start this morning by sharing with you something that the Spirit downloaded into me. As I was about to uh, teach on that Sunday, it was in the, after, in, in, in the evening service um, in one of the CMFI church. I want to start by sharing with you something that the Lord gave me on that day. It's a few Sundays ago, but it was for 2021. It was for me and for anybody else I come into contact with because it carries a truth and I will challenge you with today. Mark this statement. There are many things you've heard so far. There are a lot of things you're going to hear in the ear. Mark what I'm going to tell you. Because it can be very personal. I'm going to start with asking you a question because this was exactly how it came to me. How many of us were expecting turnaround, breakthrough, spiritually, physically, financially in 2021? Can you put your hands up? Now, can I ask you this question? What do you expect to happen? When you expect a turnaround, when you expect a financial breakthrough, how would you expect to see that happen? How would you expect a delivery to come to you? And how will it happen? See, if you are pregnant and you were carrying a child you mark your calendar every single day you know that you're walking towards the day you're going to end up in hospital then baby will come out correct because every single day your tummy is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then to a point where the water will burst you will feel the pain and then you run to the hospital and the nurses and the doctors will do your job and then you carry that baby with you so every single day you walk with that expectations. But now let me ask you this. If you're expecting a turnaround, you're expecting a breakthrough, you're expecting a promotion, you're expecting an increase, you've been sowing seeds over the ears, and you were declaring that this is the year where you will get your harvest, sounds very familiar. But what gives you the right to expect that? Just because the word of God says so that if you give, it shall be given to you, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Just because the Bible says that God is so loving, He loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If you're the only person, if you're the only sinner that lived in, on earth, Jesus will still die. Definitely, 100%. Not arguing about that. My question is this. How will... The delivery of your expectancy comes to pass. Now this is, this is astounding. I want you to understand the statement I'm going to say to you. You can choose to disagree. You can choose not to believe. But time will tell. Can I say this to you? God will never lie. Period. If we say that blessed are those who give, definitely there is a blessing when you give. If we say that by his stripes you were healed, there is healing awaiting you. If he says that he will restore everything that is lost, definitely there is restoration awaiting you. But this is the catch. God will never change your situation. Your financial situation will never change. Promotion will not come. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay? If you do not set the structure for it to happen. For your turnaround to happen, your financial increase to happen, you're going to need to do something. You're going to need to set the structure for it to happen. If you don't set the structure, it will never happen. I want you to understand that statement because it is profound. And when you go home, if you forget everything that I've said, remember that. 
anything and everything you're expecting God to do to you, through you, for you, 2021, you're going to need to set the structure right. If you continue doing what you're doing in 2020, don't expect change to come to you. If you take a dollar, deposit it in the bank, all you're going to get is the interest of a dollar. You can't expect the interest of $100 to come when you deposit a dollar. Hello? Now, structure is an arrangement and organization of interrelated element for things to happen. See, if you want to increase, you're going to need to understand what is it that you want to increase it. Increase in size, so you're going to eat a lot. Increase in weight, so you're going to sleep a lot and eat a lot. If you want to increase in finance, you're going to start set a structure so that you can get that increase because you don't build a house without a structure. Otherwise, all you have are building materials. See, a lot of us walk around with materials and we think these are the increase that we want. No. Unless you set the structure right. This is a cycle of defeat a lot of us go through every year. Some of you are just going through that cycle just right now. Because you eat up everything for Christmas and New Year, now you're scraping everything that you can find at home. And you're thinking of uncle and aunt so that you can go ask $5, $10 school fees. And you start complaining that things are expensive. It is expensive. Tell me when things were cheap. Tell me. It's going to get expensive. The Dow Jones drop just last night. Soon as Joe Biden announces his provisional budget, boom. If you want to survive, praying will never do it alone. Fasting will never do it alone. Singing will never do it alone. You can come and jump until you fall down, dehydrated. There are things God will never come and do to you. You will have to do it. Time to have a structure. Set a structure for your finances. God taught me one thing and the first two people I influenced when God spoke to me on financial structure was my son and my daughter. There were two things that God told me to talk to, talk to them about. One is, if you have a structure, if you're going somewhere, you're going to need to go and know where you're going. A plan for their life. Knowing it is one thing, I told them to write it down. I want to see it. If I'm not going to give you $200 a month, what are you going to use it for? I want to know every single bit of it. My father is a shrewd investor. He invested only one son and he expects millions to come to him. So do I. Some of us have no plans, eh? That's why we cannot measure what, we, what have come through our hands and what we spend our time with and what we have done. All we know is wake up today, we pray for five minutes, we Facebook for two hours, and we have one packet biscuit for ourselves, and then two hours of sleep, and then stories, and then dinner again. That's how our day goes every single day. Because we have no plan, we cannot even say, oh, it's been a very fruitful day. The second thing is structure for their money. And this is something that God spoke to me about and I start telling them to start doing, to set up what we call an emergency fund. I'm not an economist. I'm the last person that can talk to you about money. 
My wife knows that. My wife is a money manager in my family and in my life. The only reason why I can talk to you because she manages my finances better than anybody else in this house. That I give God the glory. I was going to ask you, I was going to do an appeal today just to test this truth. See if I come around and I really need help, okay? And I need you to give me $500 each. I only need 20 people. And I want it by two o'clock today. Can I get the 20 people inside this auditorium? Or will you tell me, oh, I need to go and loan that 200, that, that, that money. I, I need to go and sell something to get it. See? Which means every shortage becomes a crisis in your life financially because you do not have a structure for your finances that can carry you when it needs to carry you. This is church. See that what will make the difference from spending time praying on things you should be you shouldn't be wasting time pray, praying on. How many of your prayer time is on Father our bills, our FEA bills needs to be paid, our food. Have you ever heard the minor bird cry like that? The minor bird just focus on what the minor bird should focus on. And how many Bible verses have you quoted? And there's still no delivery comes to your door. Change something. Why are you wasting the $10 you get today when you know you can't get it again tomorrow? And then when you get the $10 today, you go to the Chinese shop and you spend it on rice and onion and cabbage. They call it chop suey. You're going to make some structure in your life. Listen to me very carefully here. I'm not joking. And I'm not an entertainer. You should know that by now. If you expect a miracle and increase in promotion, if you do not set a structure, next year, your story will never change. You'll make it to heaven, that's for sure. But you'll never enjoy the privilege of the king down here. 